Here we are at the end of life, basically, for Farm Sim 15, and we're finding some new, amazing-ish, maybe, mods? They might be cool. Let's find out. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Tuppers. Welcome to your Farm Simulator 15 mod spotlight. We've got a LaBear. Hey, it's an in-game LaBear, too. Yeah, we're going to go uh, do a little bit of investigating. I actually had to set this up because this is... Oh, that was good. This is quite the mod pack. Before we go too far, though, let's let's look at what this is. Everyone knows how much I love the UPK mods. Well, this is more. This is called the Greenhouse Productions. You've got a bunch of greenhouses. They're 100 grand a piece. You got cauliflower, lettuce, pumpkins, raspberries, red cabbage, strawberries, tomatoes. That, which I probably should buy, but we'll see if we can get away without it. And then you have pallet production and the sawmill. So the sawmill makes boards. The pallet production makes pallets out of the boards, and then you need the pallets at the greenhouses. I like this kind of thing. I have set this up by spending way too much time hauling crap, crashing, uh, hauling uh, crap, literally, actually, it was cow poop, uh, crossed the map and filling up all of these greenhouses, and then I went and got water, and then I went and got diesel, uh, I've used a bunch of mods for that, and then I planted a bunch of trees, and I cut them all down. I'm still crashing into things. Uh, cut them all down. Well, not all of them. I cut some of them down. A lot more than you see. Woo! Woo! And, uh, hauled them, and, um, yeah, I used a bunch of mods for that, but here's what we've got down here. So here are our greenhouses. So you see, I can't actually see anything when I drive up to the greenhouse. Instead, I walk over here to this little thing here, and it tells me I am full on feed, which is manure, and water, which is water, uh, and I I don't have any pallets. And those are my raspberries. Ooh, raspberries. I like raspberries. So we've got raspberries, we got pumpkins, we got tomatoes, we got cauliflower, we got the whole whole nine yards. This is our facility for producing pallets. It's a repurposed uh piece of uh, texture scenery out of farm sim, but that's fine because that's, yeah, you produce you do produce pallets here. Just a thing you do at a pallet production facility. And over here we have the sawmill. And the sawmill saws. Boards, which is kind of what sawmills are expected to do. And it fills up our little container full of stuff. Stuff. Uh, we get plenty of... I think I have to go over here and look at it from here. Yep. So I've got uh, a lot of diesel. <clears throat> yeah, somebody might have cheated the diesel in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, logs. Yes, I've got way more logs than I should, but that's, again, cheaty, cheaty. Uh, we got wood chips and we got boards. So we need to kind of move this along, don't we? Yes, we do. So let's... Uh, whoop. Yes, I know, there's great demands of potatoes. So we moved along a little bit, and look at that. We're at 46% board feet. Look at that. Just a little blip of my super speed. Blip. We're at 96% board feet. There we go. Board pla plate full. All right. So let's get our boards. And this, this does come with that mod you see up top, which tells me when things are full, which is really great, because if I'm running a large farm, have a lot of things going on, I might not always remember to go check my uh, all my my stuff. So it actually, when it logs in, it tells you what the status is of everything. All right, so we've got ourselves some boards. Time to run our boards over to our pallet facility. If I'd been smart, I would've put them closer together, but hey, whatever. Okay, so we'll deliver our boards. Uh, production. I gotta. Remember, I gotta figure out how, where to deliver the boards. Uh, all right. I think over here, if I remember how the pictures went. There we go. Ah, look at that. I'm so smart. <laughs> I also had the pictures. Okay, so we've got our board delivered. I'm gonna run over here. We've got four thousand board feet. So we come over here, 10%, so we can hold 40,000 board feet. So now, blip, 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 blip. Sawmill info what? Wood chips are full. Let's go get some wood chips. 
So wood chips can also be used in producing your pallets. I don't know how you do that because every pallet I've seen has been basically cheap, cheap board, basically. Um, but hey, whatever, right? Right. Now that diesel container, it don't work. It no worky worky. Uh, you need the, um, the, what is it? I did the mod. Oh my goodness. It was the... Trailer mod. I'll try to remember to put it in the... Um, I'll try to remember to put that in the description. Uh, it carries uh, diesel. It was. It's good for the lettuce mod. If you go find my old, the lettuce warehouse mod, goes with that. Okay, we now have 8,000 boards. All right, let's uh, let's blip this a little bit more. See if we can get some. Uh, come on. Yeah, my sawmill. I know. All right, we've almost filled our pallets here, guys. We're gonna we're gonna do that. There we go. So seven thousand liters of pallet. Look at that. It's all bound up for us. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. Now. We go take our pallets. Oop, there we go. Oop, oop. We take a pallet. Pallet of pallets. Okay, that'll work fine. I'll I'll take that. We take our pallet of pallets and we deliver it to our our greenhouse over here. And I gotta figure out where to deliver it. It's always the interesting thing, I think. It's figuring out where to deliver things. Deliver you here? Does that count? Is that what I'm supposed to deliver? No. Okay. Try delivering somewhere else. I didn't do everything, you know. I gotta I gotta have some failures. <laughs> That's how I roll. Oh there we go. <laughs> All right, so we've got our pallets now. So that one thing of pallets is 16%. So that's a lot of pallets. And then we just go boop. And look at that. Just like that, we've got 25% of our raspberry crop. Just like that. Boop. 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 And last little bit. So look at that. 2,000 dollars worth of raspberries or 2,000 liters <laughs> 2,000 dollars 2,000 liters worth of raspberries just like that cool it's dark let's advance time okay I advanced time now the selling point for this is the spinnery which is all the way over there I think yep I'm not gonna bother to sell it uh, because I want you to figure out the price. Really, in reality, I'm just lazy as nobody's business. Um, now, here's the thing. I love the, the setup here. I love that you've got a, the, a use for the sawmill, uh, which we've looked at before. That's Maru's saw, that came from Maru. Uh, making it into pallets here in the pallet facility. And a further use for your uh, manure and... Uh, water too here at this facility. I love that they've got all this little, you know, digital gadgets and readouts. It's all, I think, really cool. I do have some problems with the mod though, and I'll go ahead and say that first, the mod itself should remove all this grass. Now, it removed grass in certain areas, it really should remove it in all the areas. Additionally, when you buy the mod, it's kind of annoying. You buy a greenhouse. Notice where my mouse is, and notice where the the actual mod is. They didn't center it on that, um, on the mouse. Additionally, when you get up here, into the mountains, you're going to get some weird behaviors where, like, the whole thing is buried in the mountainside there. Or, if I do this, it hovers. And I hate that. This is simple stuff that should be dealt with. Um, but hasn't been. So now, mm -hmm. good luck. You ain't getting nothing up there. You can walk underneath it, though. I mean, that's kind of cool in a way. 
I guess. Uh, that's that's my problem with this. It really needs perfectly flat terrain to work properly. There's not a lot of flat terrain in a lot of maps, but it's a pretty cool idea. I just don't like the way they implemented the, uh, the actual placeables. Still... I think it's a great way to add more value to your game. Again, we're coming to we're really at end of life for Farm Sim 15 for a lot of people. A lot of people have moved on to 17. That doesn't mean we should neglect some pretty cool mods that are still coming out for 15. I think this is certainly one of the cool ones. It's a great idea. I, It's got a few little implementation problems, in my opinion. That hovering greenhouse is annoying. It should take the diesel from the diesel tank, the in-game diesel tank. Um, the, the water fill point is really fiddly, but if you get over that, I think this is a great little addition to your game. There you go. This is called the Greenhouse Productions. Link is in the description as always. I've been Daretubbers. It's been your Farming Simulator 15 mod spotlight. Until next time, I've got a whole bunch of raspberries to eat.